Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I hope you survived the snow and the ice. Of course, we didn't get near what they claimed. The weather terrorists are always at it. It's unbelievable, isn't it? It's never what they claim, at least here, not in Cincinnati. All right, uh, first thing, Nancy Pelosi. I've called this long ago, and the heat is coming. It's going to come out, you watch, that Nancy Pelosi knew what was coming with the Capitol quote-unquote riot, and she intentionally failed to do anything because she wanted it to happen. By the way, the Capitol Police Department, the police officers just gave a vote of no confidence to their chief. The chief's the one who works for Nancy Pelosi. I'm telling you, this is going to be big. And when they do their 9-11-like commission, well, they'll investigate that too. Folks, they had information this was coming and they didn't do anything. It had nothing to do with Trump. Uh, Trump in Florida. Did you see the big rallies? I'm sure you did along the road when Trump drove out at West Palm Beach. This is symbolic of why Trump is still the leader of the GOP. When was the last time a crowd turned out for Mitch McConnell or Mitt Romney or the rest of the Jack Wagons? Never, 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 never. I mean, it is just symbolic that Trump is the man still, and it makes me feel good. Uh, did you hear about Adam Kitzinger? He's one of these Republican congressmen who voted to impeach Trump. His family has disowned him. <laughs> now, listen, I might have been disowned too, but you know that story. This was hysterical, though. They all disowned him because they all support Trump. Apparently, 11 of them wrote a handwritten letter. <laughs> this is great stuff. All right. You're about Kamala Harris. She says they're starting from scratch with the vaccine. Really? I, I don't know how you feel about Kamala Harris, but during all the debates, during the campaign and everything else, she just seemed like a political con job of laughing and being fun and trying to be cool and trying to be hip and all that. And she's vice president of the United States. All right, state censors. Did you hear about these? Burr in North Carolina has been censored. Uh, they're going after Collins in Maine. Toomey's been censored. They've, they've censored uh, Cheney in Wyoming. They're going to censor Cassidy in uh, Louisiana. The only one that might not be, they're trying to censor him is Romney. I think Romney still controls the Mormon vote. <laughs> but that is also symbolic. Why would all of these state parties censor the people against Trump and Trump's the one with the political career is over? You see the disconnect between these people? Klobuchar, the Democrats, the media. If Trump's dead, why are state parties censoring the people that supported impeachment? Why are people turning out alongside the road spontaneously for Trump? Uh, windmills, your green energy at work. This is kind of sad. Texas, all the windmills froze, froze, people without electricity. Roger Kaufman reported, you ready for this, that his father lives down in South Texas. They're controlling the temperature in his home. He had it at 68, they turned it down at 30, 64. Is that what we're coming to with green energy? They control the temperature in your home? Folks. We're not ready to completely move beyond fossil fuels anytime soon. Uh, Purdue, did you hear about this? Purdue's going to run against Warnock again in the U.S. Senate in Georgia, and I expect Purdue to win this time. Good old Warnock's got to do it again in 2022. Parlor's back up, they claim. I don't know if you knew this. I, it's been reported. I know some people said they haven't been able to hook up. I'm glad we got Parlor going again because we were building a lot of subscribers. Uh, Dr. Fauci, did you hear about this? Old Fauci wins $1 million from some organization in Israel. Why? Because he supports science. Fauci is a joke. He is a joke. Highest paid public official in the federal government. Dr. Fauci. Uh, did you hear about this? 
Shakespeare. There's people in the woke culture that want to cancel Shakespeare in school. In the history of the English language, and we are English-speaking people, nobody put together words like Shakespeare. And apparently Shakespeare is now too white. I tell you, I tell you, this is crazy world. Last but not least, I got a recommendation for you. There is a documentary. It's been out for a while. The new season just began. It's called The Food That Built America. They cover the history of the Heinz family, uh, Coca-Cola, the Pizza Wars, the Kellogg Wars, the Burger Wars, all this stuff. The people who built those food companies, and it is fascinating. It's as fascinating as the men who built America when they talked, they focused on Rockefeller, Vanderbilt. The Henry Hines story is unbelievable. The Charles Post and William and John Kellogg stories are unbelievable. I mean, it's just really great history. I love when the History Channel does history instead of American Pickers. I mean, I, there's so much great history to do. Why do they do American Pickers? This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Stay safe. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to The Bulldog Show and hit that bell so you'll be alerted when I do other videos. Last but not least, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you.